that's and that's what it's all about. Ten lashes from that leather belt. I wouldn't be surprised if a match this chaotic was held in tornado style. Oh, looks like it's going to be held in traditional tag team style. Trainwrecker and Mike Idol to start us off here tonight. The, the belt isn't cleared for competition. It is a stipulation of victory here in this match. Yes, it is. Ten lashes. It is not used as a weapon. It is. This is not a no disqualification contest. Right. That means pinfalls, submissions, the only way you can win. But well, after that out. victory, well, of course, you can win by counter. Or disqualification. Oh, my guy was pumping up. What what is he what is he doing? Inflating his arms? Well the train wrecker doesn't need to inflate his muscles. His muscles are, are well are solid. Are earned. He's not some sort of self-obsessed wannabe gym guru. He just moves heavy bricks in the train yards and the lumber yards and all kinds of docks. Keep in mind the game of Cat and Mouse, the train wrecker, and uh, Max Morrison are playing with BMI. Not really. First lock up. Wow. It's not difficult to get into the head of Mike Idol. And a very confident and powerful start for train wrecker here. What do you think Mr. Breathtaking is going to have to do to overcome that? That. He's just going to have to sidestep him and step on him. He better not be too flamboyant, too carried away with the showboating aspect. And oh. Mike Idol wisely scouting that. Remember, the train wrecker hasn't really, well, he hasn't wrestled against the BMI in a very long time. He's got a lot of rust in that ring. And an elbow to Morrison. Thanks for coming. Was called for. Max Morrison was scouting him in the corner, looking to strike him from behind. No, 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 he wasn't. And a tag to Jamie Race. You can't prove that to my camera. A tag to Race. Here comes the bruiser. Perhaps thinking Wrecking Crew. And there's the Wrecking Crew. Their patented springboard variation of a senton to the spine. You know he's going to be feeling that one in the morning. No doubt about that. That we can agree on. And train wrecker wisely scratching the eyes of Jamie Race. I wouldn't call it wise as I would just call it more so instinctual. It's not really a legal tactic. Yeah, but did it get the job done? I mean, and I, I think it was pretty smart to do. All right. These two men brawling in the corner. Hey, and that's spots. an illegal use of those turnbuckles. Train wrecker was just doing it. Hit him against all three buckles. That had to be more than a five count. What what is this malarkey? No. <laughs> and just a one. Gonna take a lot more to keep the massive and endurant train record down for the count. Forearm right on the jaw though. And now Jamie Rach. Getting shot off. Oh, wisely scouting Max Morrison. But, but you better turn around. Don't take your eyes off the train wrecker. And what a clothesline. Almost decapitating race. If you are Jamie Race, what has got to be going through your head right now? Bring him over here. Well, one is train wrecker's a big guy. But I'm also a big guy. So. If I can find a way to take out his base, maybe I can get the upper hand. But now, train wrecker tagging out to Max Morrison, who's the fresher of the two. And these two, a well-oiled machine in their own right. Yeah, they haven't been tagging as long as BMI has, that's for sure, but boy, are these two on the same page, and the chemistry between one another no. is impeccable. He's just hooking the jaw. Making sure those fingers are actually lodged in his throat. He's just ripping off on the face of Jamie Race. Absolutely merciless. You may not win with a move like that, but you send a message to your opponent. Oh! And a boot to the back of the skull. That'll give you a concussion. And 
That's just a two. Was it even wise for Jamie Race to kick out of a move like that? I'd say so. The guy's got a pretty hard scope. You can throw him into a turnbuckle forever. Yeah, but even a man like Jamie Race has some has some level of give to him. Has something Are you that he me? cannot endure. Have you not seen him? Have you seen how many times he probably headbutts somebody in a single yeah. match? But one of these devastating blows from the train record will put him away eventually, Swackhammer, and you know it. Well, you gotta think, size advantage. Train record doesn't really have one when it comes to Jamie Race. There's maybe minuscule weight difference, at least. Train wrecker, here comes the train! Oh, and whistle. Gets race with that body splash! And now the pin. A furious train wrecker with everything he had. And Somehow. still a kick out at two. A desperate kick out, but somehow able to get off the mat just for a split second there. Jamie Race showing signs of life. But not for very long and what a shot right on the chin. He'll be spitting out chiclets at the end of this match. And once again, just grabbing the face. His face might as well have a gigantic bullseye painted on it. And they see Morrison just wrenching off. Easy, Mike Idol's getting fired up there in the corner. Yeah, Becoming but practically like a rabid animal. Yeah, but what good is that? Jamie Race, nowhere near able to make a tag. His mere inches from his partner. And now a tag to Max the train record. Wisely keeping that front face lock and making the tag to record. And boy, shot after shot to the midsection from both these men. And now, train wrecker standing on the throat. A brilliant but brutal assault. And again, depriving Mike Idol of vital oxygen. Or, excuse me, depriving Jamie Race of vital oxygen. Yeah, those matching outfits got you doing a bit of twin magic, huh? Well, I suppose so. And a kick out at one this time, Jamie Race. Those two are the type of weirdos to dress as each other for Halloween. Well, they did dress as the Revolution one year. Mike Idol. He's got to keep that temper in check. The center of the ring, but inadvertently causes the distraction of the official and Project Max more than happy to capitalize on BMI's mistakes, as they should every time. And now train record not really stopping to listen to the official who's trying to check him for a tag. Only so much our senior official Brian Allen can do. And a double clothesline. I don't know who got the better of that, but both of these men you don't know who got the better. I don't know who got the worse. Yeah, that's a better way to put it, Swackhammer. Both of these men worse for wear. Both of these men desperate to make a tag to their fresh partner. But Jamie Race needs to get to his corner so desperately. And there's the tag to Mike Idol. Oh, boy. Here he comes, comes Mike Idol. Taking it to Morrison. Throwing him straight. Series of elbows. Series of Irish whips straight into the corner. There's the back elbow. Close line. He lifts. And, and a big, big boot connects oh to the goodness. skull. I, I hate to admit it, but what an impressive flurry of offense from Idol. He better not let it get to his head, though, Swackhammer, as he often does. Well, spilling Max Morrison out. Looking for Valor Magulas, perhaps. Valor Magulas, no! The patented finishing maneuver. And there it is! Oh, that must fall! Are you kidding me? All the train record. Train record is not the legal man. That's right. No, Jamie Race isn't the legal man. Mike Idol needs to be the one to pin the train record. 
Wait, but, but, but is train wrecker legal? I think Max Morrison's legal. No, no, not like this! He's looking to submit Mike Idol! And there's the pin! That was it! just deciphered who's going first. <laughs> That's grand. Oof. And there's one. Grazed them on. That one stings. But I have a feeling the rest of these ten are going to be even worse. Number two connects with devastating effect. Oh, number three. Oh, 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 clobbers him. Bringing Jamie Race to his knees almost every strike of the way. Swack hammer. When was the last time you saw there's five Jamie race in such sad shape? Six. And Jamie Race standing right back up. He's got three more to take. Three more. Number Twice? Did I miss one? 
Uh, Sounds like he's last. already on the turn. This is the last of the of the strikes. Oh no! And there's number ten. Breathtaking. Even I've got to admit, he's definitely poking the bear. Some skulls!